हेलो फ्रेंड्स लास्ट क्लास आई डिस्कस अबाउट द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ द ऑर्गेनिक लाइट इमिटिंग डायोड राइट सो आफ्टर दैट एंड आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट द वर्किंग प्रिंसिपल ऑफ द ऑर्गेनिक लाइट इमिटिंग डायोड हाउ इट इज ऑपरेटिंग सो नेक्स्ट बट इफ वॉन्ट टू यूज द ऑर्गेनिक लाइट इमिटिंग डायोड यू हैव टू फेब्रिकेट द ऑर्गेनिक लाइट इमिटिंग डायोड सो टू डे आई डिस्कस अबाउट द what are the fabrication techniques we can use for designing organic light emitting dye so there are multiple layers uh, and uh, based on the application and based on the molecules we have to use the different different fabrication techniques right so here mainly two types of the uh, fabrication techniques techniques available one is the physical vapor deposition technique pbd and another is the solution process technique okay physical vapor deposition and the solution process uh, technique so for the, based on the materials and the structure of the materials we have to choose the uh, deposition techniques okay uh for physical vapor deposition technique normally small molecule okay small molecule is used for physical vapor deposition technique right i will tell what are these techniques this is small molecule is normally used for physical vapor deposition technique so in this we have we use the physical vapor deposition technique to have to use the small molecule types materials right so here is one of the advantage that is so if you deposit the small molecule in that material so you can control the thickness right now you can control the thickness from nanometer to the micrometer by using the physical vapor deposition technique okay thickness can be controlled okay but uh, in there are disadvantages like like energy and time consuming these are the disadvantages for case of the physical vapor deposition technique but if you want to uh, design multi layers okay multi layers oled so physical vapor deposition is also one of the um, popular technique okay multi layer if you want to design the multi layer okay so multi layer system complex or multi structure step structure oled can be designed by physical vapor deposition technique and the thickness of the stack uh, stack structure is easily uh, controlled but the the energy and time consuming if you deposit the one layer it will take lots of time okay by using the physical vapor deposition technique next is the solution process technique in case of the solution process technique normally we can choose polymer material okay solution is a polymer polymer kind of the material that is soluble normally okay so this kind of the material we can choose for solution process technique so here the main is that advantage is that so uh, energy less energy and time consuming but we cannot control thickness we cannot control the thickness if we deposit the polymer material by using the solution process so we have to uh, one kind of the solvent we have to use for uh, making the solution of the polymer material that solution will be uh, deposit by using the different tool technique on the substrate okay so this i'll discuss now first we will discuss about the physical vapor deposition technique okay physical vapor deposition technique so these three main processes steps are there under the physical vapor deposition technique main thing is uh, i am drawing the structure okay so so what are the first first step is that so normally some small molecule these are the powder from a solid form okay here you can see solid material 
is there in this suppose one kind of the boat and one kind of the source solid material is there this is the source and this is the substrate or destination okay the source this the solid kind of the material that is uh, placed on the source uh, uh, board okay after that so by giving the power or by giving the energy this solid material that will be transferred into the vapor material okay that will be transferred into the vapor material that will be transferred into the vapor material the chamber that should be evacuated and there will be no air so due to this the vapor will be transferred towards the substrate the vapor will be transferred towards the substrate right and after that the layer will be deposited on the substrate once you cool down the chamber that will be condensed so again i am repeating the solid phase the solid phase of the source material that will be converted into the vapor phase by giving the energy external energy then the vapor phase that will be transformed from source to destination or from source to substrate after that once the cool down we cool down the temperature the powder the, the vapor phase that will be condensed into the film thin film okay on the substrate okay vapor phase then transformation transferring from solid to vapor solid to vapor then transformation then condense okay this is the these are the three steps involved in the physical vapor deposition technique right and the physical vapor deposition technique that can be further divided into two parts one is the uh, thermal evaporation technique another is the e-beam evaporation technique so the main concept is same but uh, here i told that we have to apply the external power supply external energy uh, to convert the vapor phase uh, solid phase to vapor phase so this external energy that is different in different different techniques right so what will happen in the vacuum evaporation technique or uh, thermal evaporation technique okay what will happen in the thermal evaporation technique thermal evaporation what will happen in the thermal evaporation in case of the thermal evaporation that means we have to apply the thermal energy uh, to the source material that should be converted into the vapor phase thermal energy means here we can place one heater okay one heater so the current should be applied into the heater okay the current normally in case of the heater the current should be applied and that will produce the thermal energy okay so uh, the voltage or current okay that is control the heater if we change the voltage or current okay if we change the voltage and current uh, the heater will be warm up okay after that so the source will get heat energy from the heater and that will be converted into the vapor phase right after that the same procedure the vapor will be transferred towards the substrate and uh, after that the substrate will be uh, the film will be condensed okay that is the thin film so so in this system no contamination no extra molecule should be there so we have to evacuate the chamber so due to the pressure due to the low pressure that is 4 into 10 to the power minus 6 millibar okay minimum this pressure should be maintained inside the chamber due to the low pressure the vapor will be transferred towards the substrate right so in this thermal evaporation technique we have to apply the heater okay so this heater will be warm up by applying the voltage and current and this will help to source to convert into the vapor material right next is the in under the same physical vapor deposition technique next uh, evaporation technique is e-beam evaporation technique e-beam evaporation technique okay in case of the e-beam evaporation technique again we have to change the external power or external energy okay here 
such kind of the voltage there in case of the ED. Okay. So here again you have to apply the voltage and current and due to the magnetic force electron gun. Okay, electron gun will electron gun will produce the E beam. Okay, here will be one electron gun. Okay, here will be one electron gun. This gun will produce the E beam and it will direct towards the um, source. Okay, it will direct towards the to here material is there. Uh, why this thing is happening? By applying the magnetic force, it will direct towards the source. Due to the E beam, high energy E beam, due to the high energy E beam, hmm, heating uh, to the substrate, due to the high energy E beam, that hits the substrate. Okay, sorry, that hits the material. So, due to that, the material um, uh, transfer into the vapor phase. Okay, the material transfer, uh, transfer into the um, liquid phase and then liquid to vapor phase. Again, this vapor will be transferred towards the substrate and then again it is condensed. Okay, under the low temperature. And the film will produce, you will get the thin film. And you can observe the thickness of the film by the external quartz crystal monitor. Okay, so main thing is that the electron gun that is produced the E-beam. The E-beam will be direct towards the source by using the magnetic field. So again the magnetic field is producing by applying the current and voltage. Okay. So due to the high energy electron beam, the material will be melt and again then it will convert into the vapor phase transferred towards the substrate. Okay. That is the E-beam technique. So for any kind of the vapor deposition technique, I can use the shadow mark. Suppose shadow mark is like that. Okay, the substrate should be suppose uh, one centimeter, one centimeter substrate is there, but we have to deposit the material within an area of one millimeter and one millimeter, right? So this will be one millimeter and this will be one meter, and other portion should be cover, covered by the shadow marks. So material will be that that mark should be placed on the substrate, and material will be deposited only within this area. Okay, so this is depends on the substrate size and our requirement. Next is the organic vapor deposition technique. So normally the thermal evaporation and even evaporation techniques, these are made, normally used for depositing organic, uh, for designing organic like small molecule based organic light emitting diode, right? And organic, uh, another is the organic vapor deposition technique. Okay. In this case, normally what will happen, oh, this is the chamber. So, where is the source material? Here is the substrate. Okay, the inlet gas is there. Okay, so the source that should be uh, transfer into the vapor phase by heat energy. Okay, thermally it will be converted into the vapor phase and if, once we apply the gas inside the chamber, due to this thing, due to the pressure of this gas, the uh, vapor phase will be transferred into the substrate. Okay, so by applying the gas inside the chamber, the source material that will be converted into, that will be transferred into the substrate okay with the help of this um, this gas right so the chamber will be like that the source material that will be converted into the vapor phase by applying the heat energy and with the help of this gas this will be transferred towards the substrate this is the organic vapor phase deposition technique but this is not normal, uh, normally used in few applications now, this is less popular next is the sputtering technique sputtering technique so for designing organic light emitting diode and cathode and anode layers should be required 
so an organic materials uh, are these layers should be deposited by the normally physical vapor deposition technique or solution process technique but if we want to deposit the metal layer in the aluminium gold right so gold you can deposit by ebm technique or you can choose the spartary on different kind of the insulating layer zinc oxide if you want to use uh, this kind of the layer metallic layer or oxide based layer you have to use the spartary technique what will happen in case of the spartary technique here again source material this is the substrate so here will not apply any the heat energy or electron beam in case of the spartary technique high energy plasma okay high energy ion okay high energy ion will be imparted from the plasma and this will help to the source material to convert into the vapor phase okay and that will be directly transferred into the substrate mainly high energy ion that is imparted from the plasma plasma do want to, uh, how can you form the plasma so group 18 element is there from the temp uh, periodic table okay from the group 18 element we can create the plasma material okay so this plasma will produce the high energy ion okay the plasma will produce the high energy ion this ion the chamber should be filled by this energy ion okay this energy ion will react with the source material and then the vapor phase from the source material that will be transferred into the substrate in case of the sputtering technique normally metal deposition is used for sputtering technique right next is the solution process these are under the non physical vapor deposition technique sputtering technique organic vapor deposition thermal deposition ebm deposition these are under the physical vapor deposition technique Next is the um, solution process. In case of the solution process, two uh, techniques are mainly there. One is the inject printing, another is the uh, spin coating. So, in both the cases, I have to choose the solvent for, uh, for making the solution okay uh, uh, so that the polymer material the polymer suppose is a solvent okay the polymer material that should be mixed with the solvent okay we will create one solution so in case of the engine print, inject printing there will be one nozzle and this is a substrate okay so or enter solution that will be uh, the nozzle will be filled by the solution okay the nozzle will be filled by the solution okay this is like a spray technique so the uh, uh, few drops of the solution that will be collect from the nozzle and that will be uh, deposit on the substrate okay that will be deposit on the substrate that inject printing that is mainly used for the large screen uh, suppose if you want to design the large screen OLED computer screen or TV screen you need to use the inject printing because this is like a nozzle or spray okay so the nozzle will emit uh, the solution and that will be deposited on the substrate in case of the inject printing and in case of the spin coating if you want to uh, deposit layer uh, on a small size substrate right so there will be one dropper i have to fill the dropper with the solution okay i have to fill the dropper with the solution okay this is the dropper and i uh, have to deposit the solution on the substrate by spin coating technique once the substrate will rotate the film will be deposited on the entire substrate uniformly after uh, putting the after putting the solution on the substrate the substrate should be rotated and uniformly so that the th we can create the thin film that's why the name is the spin coating technique right 
the coating technique that is uh, driven by the spinning spinner machine right the, this is the spin coating and, and this is the injured printed like nozzle or sp uh, spray coating right so you have to use the nozzle for uh, coating the layer on the substrate so that is the injured printing or the spray coating and this is the spin coating so normally polymer layers these are deposited by the spin coating technique and the injured printing technique so for active layer we need the spin uh, spin coating or physical vapor deposition technique and if you want to deposit the other layer oxide layer metallic layer we need sputtering technique so these are about the uh, fabrication techniques are used for designing organic light emitting dye so next class i will discuss about the how many how many parameters are we have to calculate for uh, for detecting the performance of the organic light emitting dye thank you